Hi everyone. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Happy May 1st. Uh, my name is Miriam Berto here with uh, Veggie RX straight from my kitchen to your house. Sorry, I was a little off. The video wasn't starting. Um, okay, so today's recipe is a corn tomato and avocado salad. It's delicious. I think it's perfect now that, you know, maybe we'll be barbecuing a little bit more. Um, or eating outdoors a little bit more. It's super delicious and it's super easy to make, all right? Which, you know, if you've been following us here at VeggieRx, I love easy recipes. Um, okay, and then today's topic is menu planning or meal planning, right? Um, a lot of people have asked me, you know, over the, all these, you know, over the course of the years that I've been working with uh, cooking demonstrations and, you know, different um, community organizations and participants, um, a big question is always like, how do you plan out your food, right? Like, how do you meal plan or how do you, you know, it also helps with budgeting. Um, so we're going to go into that. So we're, meal planning is um, going to be our topic for today, okay? All right, so... Um, why is meal planning important? It's important because it can have um, great benefits. Three of the top ones are, I mean, it has so many benefits, but three of the top ones are, um, hold on, let me read my notes, y'all. Um, it is, um, it can ensure that you and your family are receiving a great nutrition or like a proper nutrition. Um, it helps, planning helps to stay um, within your family's food budget or your grocery budget, whatever you want to call it, okay? Um, and then it can also help with uh, spending quality time with our family, um, if you can believe it or not. You know, it's, uh, it's a great benefit to it, I think. All right, so um, what are the steps that you can do to meal plan, right? There's a million ways you can attack it. Um, there's, you know, there's a lot of like YouTube videos. There's a lot of um, like self-help books that you could get. Um, and not even that, I mean, it's, it's pretty simple, okay? Let's not overcomplicate it. Um, it can, so you're gonna start by making a list of foods that you enjoy, dishes that you enjoy, or dishes that your family enjoys, okay? Um, and then you're gonna plan your meals, right? And start with a week, okay? And if you want, just start with dinner, right? The, or your biggest meal. If your biggest meal is lunch that you eat or your biggest meal is dinner, um, or if it's breakfast, and start with that, right? And, and plan it out for five days. Um, and then you're going to check your pantry. So you're gonna write down what dinners you're gonna make. Um, and then you're gonna check your pantry and you're gonna check your refrigerator. Um, for supplies that you already have on hand, okay? So that's really important. Um, you can't see it, but I have all my spices up here. I have, um, your pantry does not need to be huge either, okay? I don't need you to be storing, um, you know, like crazy amounts of cans and be like, okay, I'm gonna use this. No, no, no. Um, it can be a small pantry and you can still menu plan perfectly, like it'll be okay, all right? So look into your pantry. Um, check expiration dates, all right? Because the worst thing that can happen is you're like, I'm gonna make this recipe, I got all the ingredients, I made my list, I you know, put it on my menu, I, I went to the store, I got, and then you come back and stuff is expired. Like, it's a real like deal breaker, right? You're gonna be like, I'm not even gonna make this anymore. So please check expiration dates. Stuff in the fridge and the stuff in the pantry, okay? Um, and then you're just gonna shop for the missing items. Or what you can do if you don't wanna like, think of foods that, or dishes that you or your family like, what you can do is um, create a menu based on the things that you already have on hand. Um, I do that a lot. Like if I have um, leftover veggies from the week before, or even from my box, like I'll be like, okay, well, I already have this, so what can I make with that? You know, and then I go that way. Or you can do it reverse. You can look at the menu, at the dishes that you want to make, um, and then, you know, set your grocery list and your budget based off of that okay but either way works either way is fine um and then you're going to shop for your missing items you know whatever items you need for your recipe um for the recipes that you plan for your week then you shop for those right um and then you come home and you prepare the meal um if you are uh it, it, menu planning also depends on the size of your family right if you're a family of one if you're a family of two if you're a family of three or four obviously you're gonna have um you're gonna shop for different amounts okay i would say try to um shop a little bit smaller um you know if it's your first time making a recipe just because you don't want stuff that you're only going to use in one recipe especially vegetables um, to just kind of sit in your fridge because you you know you only needed three zucchinis and you needed four or if you have just add the vegetables to the meal that you're making okay so you don't have a lot of leftovers um, usually what I do is I prep on Sunday nights I'll chop whatever veggies I'm going to be using during the week or um, 
I, uh, I, you know, like set them up like in my refrigerator, like, okay, this is what we're going to make. Um, sometimes I just plan like Monday through Wednesday, right? Like if it's been a, like a really busy weekend, then just tackle the first three days or the first two days of the week and then kind of reset like Tuesday night, like, okay, well, what am I going to make Thursday, Friday, you know, or what am I going to make Wednesday, Thursday? And then, you know, go, go as you take small steps. If you're not used to planning like your month out or your week out. Okay. Um, Menu planning can also help us, like we mentioned, stay within our budget, okay? I don't know about y'all, but my budget for the groceries, like, tripled, you know, because now there's, you know, we're all home all day long. Um, so that was a little kind of a big adjustment that I had to make. Um, so, you know, I, when you plan your meals, it's also like, and I know uh, this is a complaint that I got in my house, like, oh, we're eating the same thing every week. Well, yeah, it makes it really easy to prep. Like, we already know what's going to happen. Like, I already know what, um, at this point, I don't even have to make a list, really, when I go to the store, because I know what we're getting, and I know what I need. And then I kind of just switch meals, you know, switch menus, like, um, weekly, not daily. Um, so that's always, you know, a plus. Um, so... Now that we've decided what meals your families enjoy, then start planning your meals for the one week, right? Um, but some things that you might want to consider are check for entrees, you know, will you have any meatless days? Like that's a great um, money saver, right? Or can you use tuna in one of your meals, right? Tuna, don't forget, is a great protein, super healthy and super inexpensive and you can make a lot and you can make it cold and you can make it hot. I mean, it's just, it's so flexible. I love tuna. Um, check what are your side dishes do you have a variety of fruits and vegetables you know sometimes I want to be fancy sometimes I'm like everybody's getting carrots you know the baby carrots that's what everybody's getting for as their side vegetable you know and then I'll make like a sauteed dish um, and it works also I've been buying the the sweet potatoes and like I've been roasting them I, well I put them in my air fryer but if you you know you can roast them in the oven too um, Sometimes I don't feel like cutting up the carrots, you know, like I don't have the time So I just buy the baby carrots and I just throw those into the dishes, you know And that works too in my soups and all that that helps save time um, so um, Also, you want to consider um, your leftovers and how will they be used? Will you use them for lunch the next day? That's what I do whatever is left over for dinner is what everybody has for lunch the next day That's just how I go. So I make like big um, big uh, like I'll make big batches of dinner so that the next day that'll be lunch, you know spaghetti's great for that Like we'll have it as a side um, For dinner or as a you know as a main dish for dinner and then for lunch It'll be a side um, and that's how I go through my leftovers. I you know, I don't like throwing food away um, or And then next is okay, so and then you're ready, you know if you know what you're gonna if you so pick your meals you know, look at your pantry, look at your fridge, look at expiration dates, plan your meal out that way, um, shop for the ingredients that you're missing, right? Um, decide, you know, prepare your meal and then decide what you're going to do with the leftovers, right? Um, so you can make use of, of those. Now, sauteing, uh, stir frying, like that's a great way to reuse our leftovers so that they don't, you know, go to waste. Got a little bit of chicken, a little bit of rice left saute it with a bunch of veggies and you're good um also is a great way to use up vegetables right if you're like oh, i have a couple of veggies i don't really know what to make it's not enough to make a big meal put it all together and it will be right okay so now our recipe let me read the ingredients it is really tasty i hope everyone really like gives it a try because it's super delicious um let me tell you this is gonna be my lunch it's gonna be delicious um, okay, so our ingredients are one large steamed uh, corn on the cob. So you're just gonna, you know, slice the kernels down and that's gonna give you about one cup. We're gonna use one large avocado diced, one and a half cups of cucumber diced, but I just used one. Um, one cup of halved cherry tomatoes, but I just used a regular big tomato because I didn't have the cherries. Um, two teaspoons of, two tablespoons of diced red onion, um, but any onion will do the red onion will be the best but any onion will do um two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil one medium lemon um which gives you about two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice a quarter teaspoon salt and then black pepper to taste okay um and then i'm going to bring you over right now so you can watch me prepare it so i steamed the corn um i boiled the corn and uh and then i sliced it um the kernels off but i was thinking though too is if we don't you know as we go into the well when we go back into winter um you can uh we can use the the frozen corn too um i don't know i hadn't thought about that but yes we can use frozen corn too if that's what you have or you can use the fresh corn you can also grill your corn and it's gonna give this salad just 
I mean, a tremendously better taste um, if you grill the corn. So you can do that, okay? Um, and then what else did I do? Um, so your avocados. I know avocados are hard to shop for, okay? I shop for them all the time. Um, actually, the ones that I bought that I used today, I bought two or th actually I got them on Wednesday um, and they were hard and I was like, it's okay. And sometimes they're cheaper because they're really, um, they're not ripe and they're kind of hard. Um, and so you can uh, buy them, you know, before and then just wait for them to ripen and two, three, two or three days later they will be perfect but keep an eye on them because sometimes they're like not ripe not ripe and then you blink and it's like oh i'm too ripe you know um so one little trick um that they've you know uh you got out there is you know you peel this little thing out here and then you can see if it's like a like a good green color then that's ready to go this avocado is perfect but it was hard like like i told you two three days ago okay um now that's sometimes when I go to the store though, those little things have been picked out already, so you can't even tell. So just, you know, feel that it's a little, um, you know, still firm, but not like way soft. Um, if it's like sinking in, if it's way soft, then it's no good, okay? Um, but like I said, I'll buy them, I'll buy them hard and then just wait for them to ripen on my countertop. Okay, so put them out, don't, don't put them in the fridge. Um, all right, so uh, let's come on over so that you can check out what I do. Okay, so we're here. So like I said, I already have my steamed corn, right? And then I just sliced the kernels down. Um, and so I made a little bit more corn, but I, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like with one so that you see how much it can be or how much it is, okay? Um, and then I have my cucumber, ta-da, here. This is all bought at the farm at 35.55 West Ogden. Come on down, open monday through oh no wednesday through saturday 11 to 5 okay and then here goes my onion now i am an onion fan you know but if you don't want to be like if you really want to measure it um make sure that it's two tablespoons okay and then as we're going through this i did want to go through um because here's my avocado i did want to go over the benefits of avocado okay so if you've heard um, or if you've been in any of my lessons, um, you know, your avocado has our, our, the good type of um, fat, right? The unsaturated fat, all right? But besides that, it also has zinc, which is vital for hormone production and boosting our immune system. Um, there's copper in it that helps to transport iron. Um, it, there's folate in here, which helps for cell division and growth. Um, there's vitamin B5, which is great for fat, protein, carb metabolism. Um, there's potassium in here, you know, that, like, like in bananas. And that helps us to maintain our blood pressure. Um, or there's fiber in here, right, which helps our digestive system. We've talked about fiber and how it helps us. Um, it can help control our blood sugar levels, our cholesterol. Um, and then there's vitamin K, there's vitamin B6, there's vitamin C, and there's iron, okay? So avocados are super, super great. Um, using your avocado in our diets has been shown to lower um, risks of heart disease, improve blood levels, um, and lower levels of, uh, and lower the levels of the bad cholesterol, okay? So here I'm gonna add my avocado. It also, because it has fiber, it is very filling, all right? I love, love, love avocado. I met someone who doesn't like avocados. I was like, what, girl? Now they are a fan though. Okay, and I'm also going to add my tomatoes. Remember I told you I didn't have no cherry tomatoes, so I used it, just a big tomato, and I just, you know, diced it up kind of small. Okay, so tomatoes help to, um, they are packed with special nutrients like vitamin A, vitamin C, fiber, uh, B vitamins, antioxidants. Um, and lycopene, which is really um, powerful in the destruction of free radicals, which is those kind of wacky cells that kind of um, run around our bodies that can um, develop into you know bad cells inside of us. Um, so tomatoes help to prevent cancer. They help with our eye care. They help to prevent heart disease. They lower blood pressure. Um, help us fight against infections. They improve our immune system. Um, they support bone health. Uh, bone health, and they protect us from. Uh, they protect our gum and um, our gums from uh, cavity cancer. Okay, so there's all that added benefit. And then for corn, 
Um, it's rich in fiber and protein. It contains antioxidant, helps to lower our bad cholesterol, prevents inflammation, provides energy. Um, so it's just, this is just a whole bowl of delicious, okay? All right, um, so we have that. So we're gonna add our extra virgin olive oil, okay? So about two tablespoons of this, if you wanna measure it, you can. Um, and then we're gonna add just a little bit of salt. Oh, oh, you know what? I think the baby got to this. <laughs> it's not coming out. Um, all right, and then our our pepper. And it can be the other kind. It doesn't have to be this fresh one, okay? Whatever you got on hand. And then our half a lemon. It says to do one whole lemon, but, you know, sometimes these are kind of big. So, um, you know, just start off with less, right? Because if it's too much lemon, then you're really not going to like it. So let's just let's just start off with less. I'll just start off with half because it's pretty uh it's got a lot of juice in it. Okay. And here we go. Now, how would you incorporate this into your meal planning, right? Um you can put it as a side, you can do it for lunch, you can add chicken to this if you want. You can add salmon. I mean, it's just a bunch of ways. I'm just breaking up the corn a little bit. A bunch of ways that you can use the salad, and it is, it is delicious, delicious. Um, if you're barbecuing, um, you can also use it as a dip, right, with chips. I would probably use, um, well, whatever chips you got on hand is fine. Um, but yeah, this is super great. So there you have it. This delicious looking salad. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. This is gonna be a great lunch, okay? So, um, remember all the benefits that are found in our tomatoes, all the benefits that are in avocado, all the benefits that are in our corn, okay? Um, and that, um, you know, so this is a great kind of, uh, like a nutrition-packed salad here, right? Now, um, what would you add? What would you take away, right? If we we're gonna try to add sour cream or if we're gonna try to add something that's not as healthy or has like a lot of fat, then obviously that's gonna make this um, a little bit less healthy, okay? Um, so I would probably make, I found these low carb tortillas at Aldi. Um, they're flour, so I cut them up and I put them in the air fryer and I make low carb uh, chips from that, okay? Um, or I'm sure they sell them, so you could buy those if you didn't wanna get any more carbs or as many carbs anymore in here. Um, otherwise, yeah, you could put this on a tostada. I mean, you could use this as a topping for any type of taco. Um, it's just, it's really flexible, okay? And it's really tasty, like I hope you try it. It is delicious. Here we go. There is our salad. Look how good that looks. So tasty okay so um, there you have it that is our tomato corn avocado salad it is super delicious like I said you can also take anything out like if you're not a fan of cucumbers you could totally do this with just tomatoes and um, and the corn and the avocado or you can add more stuff if you would like like you could totally add broccoli to this um you could add some cauliflower and it would still be super 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 delicious okay um so i'll see you back in two weeks with a different recipe um it's a beautiful day out there let's get some exercise in let's get maybe a walk in um it's the beginning of the month this would be a great day if you're trying to you know take maybe little steps towards eating a little bit um healthier or clean up just a little bit of your diet um, today is a great day to start planning since it's the beginning of the month you know and then by the time you get to the end of the month you'll have a whole month of just small changes that you could have made just to tweak your menus you're gonna feel a ton better um, but I'll see you soon please stay safe and I'll see you in two weeks bye everybody.